Well, hello again, YouTube. It's DJ Rude. And uh, since I'm in the talking mood, this is my second vlog for the day. Um, what I wanted to talk about is something that uh, I touched on today with Tim Coy. If you saw the video that I just made a oh, half hour ago, um, you'll know who I'm talking about. He works for Pacific Events, or he owns Pacific Events and California DJs. Um, and I own Unique Entertainment, Mobile DJs, and Karaoke, as well as Unique Maintenance, Commercial Property Management. And uh, the discussion that we had is uh, it's synonymous in whatever you know field that you're in. Uh, if you own a business and uh, you're doing well, you're going to hire people to help you. Uh, and that's what this video is about. It's about employees. It's about loyalty. It's about being a good employer. Uh, it's about basically about ethics and morality. Um, you know, when you're working for a company, you expect for that company to take care of you, to provide a safe, comfortable work environment, um, and you expect to be paid or compensated uh, you know, decently. And on the other hand, as an employer, you know, you hire somebody because you want to be able to trust them to handle things that you can't do yourself, obviously. Um, and uh, you want them to do a good job of what they do, represent you, uh, you know, in a very positive manner. Um, because the reason that you got the job to begin with is because you represented yourself in a, in a way that those people trusted you. So now you're putting another face and another body in your place to continue to carry on that reputation. So you expect them to do a good job. And in turn, you, you have to pay them what you feel they're worth, um, you know, depending on the profit margin and a lot of other factors. Those of you who are business owners you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and that's what I'm talking about. So, you know, there's there's a, a you know there's a line that you draw between you know what you have to do and what you're expecting to get paid for. Just like there's a line that you draw or what you expect someone to do for you and how much you expect to pay them or want to pay them. And sometimes those lines get blurred. But forget all that for now. What I'm talking about is being a good employee. You know, when you work for somebody. You know, they're, they're counting on you to do what they can't do themselves. Um, and hopefully, you know, they're also expecting you to do just as good a job, if not a better job, than they would. The problem with people these days is they don't take it seriously because they're looking at the fact that the employer is making all this money and they're only making this much. Why can't I be doing it? Well, you have to take into consideration all the expenses and the risks and liabilities and everything else that an employer takes in order for you to have that job. You know, you have to have, you have to realize that there is an employer mentality and there's an employee mentality. What, which one is you? You don't want to work for somebody else and you need to have proper business sense to go out and acquire business for yourself and enough so that you can afford to have people work for you. Um, but if you can't handle that, then your place is to be an employee. And it's not, it's not that many of you can't do it. It's just that, you know, you don't have the financial resources to be able to maintain the insurance and the bonding and all the other advertising and every other aspect that, you know, requires, that is required to run a business. So maybe you're not able to do that. Um, so therefore, you know, you're either it's because you can't, you could, but you can't, or because you just don't have the business sense. So you you're stuck being an employee. <laughs> anyway, cut out all that crap. Um, you basically know what I'm trying to get at. Um, so if you're working for somebody then and you accept the amount of pay that you're asking for or that they're offering you and you agree to it, then you need to be there on time. You need to be there early and get the job done. You need to go with a smiling face, especially if you're in a service-related industry such as DJing um, or what I do. I'll, contractor, handyman, whatever it is, you know, property management, you know, whatever aspect of my second business or my first business, um, DJing is actually my second business, but obviously on this channel, it's more DJ related than anything else. Uh, but the point is, is that you've got to be able to put on your game face. You've got to be able to put on the happy face. You've got to be able to represent the person that's paying you so that they are comfortable to continue paying you. You've got to be on time, be early, you know, account for setup time, whatever you have to do. Um, there's so many people, like in the past, I've had workers uh, that are like, you know what, how come I'm not making more money and you're making all this, you know, it's like you don't understand what I just said, you know, if that was the case, then you would be doing it. You would be 
putting up the bond, the insurance, the advertising, and everything else that's associated with running a business. So just shut up and do your job is all I'm saying. You're getting paid for it. You're not doing it for free. Um, be on time. Be early. And get your stuff set up. Do it with a smiling face. Shake everyone's hand at the end and leave. That way I'm comfortable bringing you back because those people that you work for, that did the work for in my shoes, uh, are happy with you. So I know it's kind of a rambling um, video that I'm doing right now. I just really don't know how to put it into the proper words, but I think you understand what I'm talking about. Um, I hire other people to work for me at times when I can't do multiple things. Um, even though my business is really slow right now, um, there are times when I have to bring somebody in to help me. Um, and at, on the same token, I'm working for someone else too. I'm you know, working for them, representing their company too, because they have the, the resources and the, uh, the advertising and the marketing to bring in the business. So you know, I'm expected to, to give to them what I expect my employees to give to me. So bottom line, if you're going to work for somebody, and in this economy, this economy is really screwed right now. Take what you can get. If, it, if you don't feel that it's worth your time, then don't do it. But don't leave the employer hanging up because there's a hundred other guys or more that are waiting to have that job. So my, my point is to you, if you're the employee, do your job, get it done early, and do it with a smile. Okay? And... My advice to the employers is make sure you screen your employees. Make sure that, uh, and the same thing with the employees. They screen your employer. You know, look online, put the name in, type it up, say, you know, see if there's complaints with the Better Business Bureau and so on and so forth. I was doing some work for a property management company and I looked them up and found out that they weren't worth working for because a lot of other uh, contractors and handymen they hired were complaining they weren't getting paid. Well, in the end, I didn't get paid on my last gig that I did for them. So it goes both ways. Look each other up. You know, uh, if you're an employer, then you, you're you going to have the financial resources to do background checks and uh, check employer references and so on and so forth. It's that simple. Um, and if you guys both agree and you meet in the middle, you pay him so much to do work for you and you're accepting so much to do work for him, you've agreed on it. Do it because there's too many other people out there who would love to have that job. So treat each other right. Okay. That way you have more business, create a good reputation for yourself. Anyway, I just thought I'd put that little video together uh, because I'm kind of uh, in the middle. I'm, I'm working for people and I've got people working for me. So be a good employer, be a good employee. Peace. DJ Rude, out. Mwah. Oh, wait. What is everybody doing these days? Ciao! I, I can't do it. Never mind.